Hey Gemini Collective, what's up y'all? Welcome to the channel. Welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me or joining me again if you've been here before. Let's get into this collective Gemini reading. Take what resonates, leave a dozen, flip the rose if you need to. Could be past, present, or future energy or someone else around you. I am picking up on Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. Let's get a card to start your reading. What do you need to hear right now? We have pivot. Pivot, pivot, pivot. All right. So we have sometimes when things aren't falling into place after trying and trying, it's time to ask yourself if pivoting in some way would be a good idea so that your life can flow more effortlessly and easily. How could you pivot even just a little bit? Okay. Hmm. So some kind of change, some kind of redirection has taken place here. You Something was going one way, one way and you decided to take it another way or you need to. Okay. We have Rampage. Some of y'all are dealing with another Gemini and Aquarius, possibly. There's somebody, somebody's being reckless or has been being reckless. This could also be somebody coming towards you. I actually feel like there's somebody in your energy that things did not go well with. You went your separate ways. And I feel like this person could be coming back towards you. Um, but in the past, this person has been reckless, maybe even violent for some of you. Okay. This is a person who wreaked a lot of havoc in your life. Could have been a lot of arguments, a lot of confrontations with this person. Okay, we have crushed. Somebody could ride a bike. Sad, broken, and feeling alone. So this person, I feel like they destroyed or sabotaged this connection. But now they're realizing with breakthrough, Ace of Swords, Libra, Christ, Gemini. Could also be a Scorpio for some of you. They're realizing that they want to be with you. Okay, this is somebody getting clarity. Hmm. Saying number 34, number 1, number 29, and number 25. So January 29th could be significant. That would be Aquarius, right? The number 35, 29, 34, or 1. Some of you could have a one-year-old child. I'm seeing two small kids here. Maybe a dog. Some of you could be on the Taurus Gemini cusp. Let's get into this. All right, I'm seeing Capricorn. I'm seeing Sagittarius. I'm seeing Aquarius, Libra Gemini, Taurus Virgo. Okay. First card is stinginess. This is the Four of Pentacles. Capricorn energy, and that's coming out with the Ace of Pentacles, Taurus Virgo, Capricorn. Something is going on right now with tension, trust issues, Two of Cups, this is um, cancer energy. Some of you are just loving on yourselves right now. Working on your own stability. Some of you have recently gotten a new job, a new car, a new home. Or you could be saving for a new car. Is what I'm hearing. Or even purchasing a new home. It's all about your financial stability right now. But I do feel like there's someone here that you have been at odds with. You broke up with this person who's coming back your way. Because look what we have. Confidence. This is the eight of wands. Sagittarius energy. This is somebody coming at you very quickly. Some kind of communication or some kind of visit from someone. And look what's clarifying that. Mercury, messages, travel, or communication. That's exactly what this is. Somebody is coming in quick. What do they want to say to you? What's done in the dark comes out in the light. A truth is about to come out. So we're going to get some tarot to see what that is. They want to confess something to you. Something they were doing. Then we have spontaneity, the full Aquarius energy. Somebody's ready to take a leap of faith. They're hoping that you will be receptive and open to what they're offering you. And then we have keep the same energy. Y'all, I feel like you don't want to talk to this person. I feel like you're kind of stubborn with very strong boundaries here. Yeah. Five of Wands is very strong boundaries. You're telling them to keep the same energy that they had when they were doing whatever they did before. But now they're crushed. And look, they're coming wanting a leap of faith. Okay, some of them had a, an affair on you. Yeah, that was a third party. That's always the damn story, ain't it? Always. Let's get some tarot. This is why you pivoted. Show me stinginess, Ace of Pentacles intention, Queen of Wands, Aries energy. I told you, you're really focused on your money and your independence right now with the Two of Swords. Yeah, this person was torn between you and someone else. Could have been a Libra. They could have also been attracted to an Aries. They could be somebody really attractive. They couldn't decide between you and this other person. I feel like you're really stable, but maybe they had like a girlfriend or a boyfriend on the side or somebody that it was just sexual with. And that caused the breakup between you. They couldn't choose. They couldn't choose. Look at this. 
Ace of Wands, the sex card. What's done in the dark comes out in the light is sex. Who would they have sex with? Because this is what it was. Somebody from their past. Nine of Cups. Could be a Pisces, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius here. What's the truth that's about to come out? The devil. Wow. This person could have addictions. They could have had um, sex addiction is what I'm hearing with this coming out with the Ace of Wands. Yeah. This person could also be addicted to attention. They could also have, you know, addictions with drugs, alcohol, or something like that. This is somebody's ego, bad habits getting in the way, something really toxic about this person. I feel like they want to confess to you. Some of them have a sex addiction, you know. I don't know if y'all believe in sex addiction. Some people don't. I don't know why. You could be addic addicted to anything. But with the Nine of Cups, I do feel like this person was also addicted to attention. This is somebody successful. Um, it's a happy-go-lucky energy. It's a card of contentment and wish fulfillment. I kind of feel like they had that with you, but they chose to you know, sleep with this other person. Again, this is lust and temptation as well. So that's what the secret is. The secret is, or the truth that's coming out, is that they have a sex addiction or they were tempted by this person because they were attractive. Look at this. You cannot make it up. You get the player. Yeah. It says keep the same energy. So this player is coming back. They want to like continue to pick up where you left off. Um, this is about building blocks, momentum, growth, and expansion, moving forward, all of that, right? Going to the next level. This could be somebody you met online. A very attractive, charming, charismatic person, though. And like I said, this is a person who um, pursued sex with someone else because this is the player. Of the tarot deck, male or female, it doesn't matter. Some of you, you've turned your back on this person. You're like moving forward. You could even literally be moving. This could talk about you moving. And it says keep the same energy. They're hoping you're receptive. They're coming back your way for sure. Look at him. He's coming right back towards you. But your back is turned because you're focused on like broadening your horizon. Some of you have started to date other people. You might be about to meet somebody online. Show me breakthrough. Breakthrough is the strength card with the queen of cups. So this person is discovering that they have very deep feelings for you. And they're wanting to bring them back to you. They are watching you. Could be a Gemini, Libra, Christ. They could be younger than you. Could be a Cancer. Could be a Leo. We got Sagittarius and Aries here. What these am I seeing? I'm seeing uh, September the 15th, January the 15th, September the 1st. Okay. Well, Gemini, that is where you and I will part ways today. I think that's all I have for you. Um, this person... It feels like they're coming back. I feel like you've moved forward. I feel like you're <laughs> rejecting their offer because the strength card is turned the other way. This could be you with the keep the same energy. Like I'm not interested. Some of you don't even want to talk to this person, but they're bringing their cup of love back your way and they are watching you. Those are your messages. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.